These are black and white rough lemurs. So we have two males and a female here. So they're part of the lemur family, part of the persimian group. So a primitive primate, but a new animal for us here at the Blank Park Zoo. So these guys are in the persimian group. So there's old world monkey, there's new world monkeys, and there's apes and persimian. So these guys are they're primitive primates. So they're not quite as evolved as like a great ape, um, so to speak. But we just wanted to show more, more variety, more diversity for our guests to see. When you're out here at the zoo and you see the rough lemurs go and grab food, watch how they move and, and grab their food with their hands and how they eat. It's, it's fun to watch. Um, it's different than most primates, so a lot of times they'll use their mouth more than their hands. So it's kind of fun to see the differences between, uh, say, our macaques and the lemurs. They're part of a breeding program, and the fact that they're critically endangered is something we want to show to our public. So the main reason they're critically endangered is, is, is people. Um, it's deforestation, it's loss of habitat. It's, it's really caused by us, by people. They're only found on the island of Madagascar, uh, just off the coast of Africa, so it's really important for us to show these animals off. People get engaged and, and want to save them. So black and white rough lemurs are really vocal. They have a real raucous sound to them, and so it'll draw people down here to the lemur exhibit where they're going to be found. You know, the best way for me to describe their call is like this raucous. It's, you know, it's not sweet, um, it's really loud. It's, it's a territorial call. It's much like a lion uh, roaring. This is a way for them to claim their territory. So you may hear it around the zoo. That's, the, that's one of the reasons we brought these guys in is that noise will draw you down here. Yeah, the lemur exhibit is down here in the corner across from tortoises. This is part of the path that might get missed by our guests if they come out of Australia and go straight to Kitts Kingdom. It's pretty heavily forested down here, so it's an opportunity for guests to come out and see these guys, more of a natural habitat. 